a particle is projected at a speed or with a speed of 30 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. Let's summarize this question with a diagram. This is the question we are going to solve in this session and let's get started. My name is Andranga Kuramia. This is Kisembu Academy. So we have a particle here, right there. It's here. As you can see, it is projected with a speed of 30 meters per second. So I project this particle upward at a speed, a value of u there, at a speed of 30 meters per second. Okay. At an angle of 30 degrees, this is 30 degrees, to the horizontal. So find the speed of the particle at a height 4 meters above the point of projection. This is the point of projection. So if the thing has been projected upward, it reaches a point whereby this distance is 4 meters. And they want us to find what is the speed, what is the speed at that point of projection. You know, find the speed of the particle at a height 4 meters above the point of projection. So if that's the speed they want, of course this thing continues like that. But they want us to find the speed at that point. And so like we have been doing in our previous session, once it reaches at that speed, this is the final velocity. It has a component in. There is a velocity in the x direction. We have a velocity. I mean, this is the velocity in the y direction. We have a component of that velocity in the x direction. So we find those two and we're able to get the value of v at that point when it is 4. Again, here we shall play around with the equations of motion and the most favorable one to deal with here. Because since they've, they, they, they find, we want to find the value of v when it is at 4 meters. So if we are to say v is equal to u plus acceleration times time, there is no tagging, there is no, there is no information about the 4 meters in this. So if we use for v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as, s is displacement. So the displacement here can help us make sure that, you know, we are getting the v at w when the displacement is 4 meters. Now, mark you, this 4 meters, this is displacement in the y direction. Yeah. So from the information that has been given to us in the question, we know that when the thing is 4 meters above the point of projection, you know, 4 meters, this is actually displacement in the y direction, 4 meters above the point of projection, and we need to find the velocity, the final velocity at that point. So we shall begin with, you know, finding the vertical component of that velocity, which is Vy. So finding Vy is going to be equal to, you know, of course, it's u squared plus 2as. Let me first quote it the way it is. Then I start substituting. Velocity in the y direction, which we are looking for, is u squared. Now, initial velocity squared, remember, it is 30 degrees, but it is being uh, projected at an angle. We need to make sure that this u is resolved in the y direction. So it's going to be equal to u sine of 30. All this is squared plus 2 times acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.81 times the distance. That is the uh, distance S is the displacement in the y direction. In this case, it's 4 meters at that point times 4. So this continues. We get Vy is going to be UR value of U is 30. So it's going to be got 30 times sine of 30. All this is squared. Uh, this negative affects this and becomes minus 2 times 9.81. Multiply that by 4. And so we shall end up, this is by the way, v squared, v squared, v squared. So our value of v in the y direction is going to be equal to so this is v in the y direction. In other words, at this point, it is the velocity in the y direction. Let's get the velocity in the x direction. So to find the velocity in the x direction, we are going to go ahead and say v 
in the x direction squared is giving us u squared plus 2 times a times s so moving on it's going to become now the initial velocity in the x direction is we resolve it here we resolve it in the y direction so here we are resolving the initial velocity in the x direction and this is going to become u times the cosine of you know cosine of 30 because 30 is the figure squared now that is plus 2 times acceleration times, you know, the displacement in the x direction. But you realize that as far as the x direction, since we are finding the velocity in the x direction, acceleration in the x direction is 0. So it means the value of acceleration here is 0. If it is 0, it means that this whole term is going to become 0 like that. This is 0. So we only have this squared. It's going to be equal to v x squared so we end up with vx squared v x is going to give us the square root of u cosine of 30 that is meaning it's 30 cosine of 30 this whole thing by the way is squared so we end up with our answer as our velocity in the x direction Now that we have our velocity in the y direction and our velocity in the x direction, we can go ahead and find the velocity at the point when it is 4 meters above the point of projection. That's what the question requires us to find. So to draw that v, we shall come and say, um, to draw the, the, vector, the vector diagram here, we shall say this is v in our x direction. Then in the y, we draw it up there, v in the y right like that what we are interested in in finding that v so v in the x direction here is 25.9808 then v in the y is 12.1045 so we need to find this velocity and the angle but we don't need to find the angle, why? Because the question says here that find the speed of the particle. Speed is a scalar quantity. So with the scalar quantity, we don't need to find this value of theta, the direction. So we're only going to find this V. However, if they had told us that find the velocity of the particle at the height four meters above the point of projection, velocity would be a vector quantity. So we need to find this value of V and the angle at which it is inclined to the horizontal and then we conclude in our answer by saying that the velocity is this and it is inclined at this angle to the horizontal however here they are saying us they just telling us to find the speed of the particle at a height four meters so we are only simply going to find the magnitude of this magnitude we don't need to find that value of theta so let's go ahead and find this of course we shall find that using pythagoras theorem we shall say v squared is going to be equal to this plus that squared so it's 25.9808 squared plus 12.1045 squared and then of course when we put that in our calculator our value of v will become so that's our speed we've answered that question find the speed of the particle at a height four meters above the point of projection and this is the speed this brings us to the end of this session thanks for watching my name is arnold rangakuramia i encourage you to share this video with your friends be sure to hit that subscribe button if you've not yet subscribed to this youtube channel for any clarifications feel free to comment in the comment section below and you can also send me an email all those details can be found in the about section of this YouTube channel.